If you ever struggled to create content, this is a great method that I created called the VL5 method. So definitely check this out. Uh, this is from one of our mastermind programs that I presented on, so enjoy. What's up everyone? So this is my VL5 method. This is kind of something that I made up and uh, it kind of gives you a never ending list of content and I'm kind of show you how I kind of set this up. So um, the VL5, the five actually is for the value and the, the lifestyle. So we have five different kind of posts that we can create. We can do a results post. So like results that we actually get or maybe uh, our clients get just depending on what we can show. And then we have testimonials. And I think there's a, a difference versus showing what you've done versus having other people talk about what you've done. So these are very um, strong. And I think that this is even uh, a stronger post. So if you can get both of those, it's, it's very, um, it just really shows a lot of value to people. Because someone else talking about what you've done, it just really strengthens kind of uh, what you have done for your clients. Uh, storytelling, this can be like a journey or a struggle or the hero's journey or whatever that journey is. Um, you can tell it in a story and people relate to stories really, really well. And it's just an easy way to take someone down the, the journey and keep people reading your post if you do create a story. And so uh, these are kind of really good ways to, and I do a lot of my posts with stories. Um, it just allows you to uh, build a connection with someone. Uh, freebies are two steps. So uh, you could do like a say, hey, I have this amazing guide. Uh, drop it in the DMs or in uh, the comments below if you want to get this guide and I'll send it directly to your inbox. So these are kind of those uh, two steps. This two step would be taking them from messenger to signing up for like a discovery call or um, and we go more in depth in our advanced section on that but uh, it's more of kind of delivering them the product but asking them kind of if it would be a good fit for them and that's what the point of having those freebies are is it kind of allows you to give them something but also kind of see their deeper reasons why they need it. Uh, and it builds up that conversations, conversation, it builds up those touch points and really just allows you to uh, sell in Messenger very easily because they've kind of opted in that they have an issue and whatever it is that you have to sell can kind of solve that issue. And then obviously there's motivational and inspiring posts. These kind of go uh, to be a little rah-rah um, I don't really post too often more of the motivational and inspiration posts, but um, you know it just depends on you. Uh, you can they don't even have to be posts. These could be lives. Um, they could be like I just did a a huge value post um, about time management and really focusing on shiny object syndromes, and people loved it and it provided a lot of value. Uh, there was some storytelling in there and I got a, a really great feedback on that. So um, they can be stories, they can be pictures, they can be lives. So it just gives you a whole lot of different content you can put out there. But don't necessarily think that you can't do the same thing. Like if you do a testimonial and it's a video, you can take a screenshot of that video and then talk about it and then do a live about it. So there's so many different ways you can really uh, put out content like multiple times. Uh, the other one is L5, which is kind of like your lifestyle, like your downtime, behind the scenes, your family, hobbies, people that know you're like a real person versus just a salesman in a sense or saleswoman. Uh, it's just kind of what it is that uh, you do outside of work. Uh, like me and my wife went to New Orleans. We uh, we travel a lot. We we talk about how we're buying a house. Um, we talk about kind of all the things that uh, we do behind the scenes. Um, our hobbies, 
uh, not really work or career, but um, like I said, kind of the behind the scenes. Um, things that you can kind of pick five things that you're uh, very knowledgeable about. And this doesn't have to be these five things. This could be instead of work and career, it could be like gym. Uh, it could be like um, you like to go skydiving. And uh, th these are kind of five lifestyle things that you talk about. So for instance, mine is real estate, gaming, uh, family, pretty much uh, behind the scenes and my dog. Like those are kind of the things I talk about consistently. So yours are gonna be different. This is just like categories that um, kind of fit the lifestyle. So like you could show work events uh, without providing value, you just kind of show behind the scenes of those work events. Um, you could show different hobbies if you're really into shopping or, um, or you're a biohacker or whatever that is. You wanna pick five lifestyle kind of things that you are into and create posts around them because that's just how we connect as uh, people is connecting with people that are similar to us. So if you can have a story bank of those, you're going to uh, really have people connect with you. So I like to have story banks. Uh, I, I use Google Docs and I'll, um, if something happens to me or I'm like, oh, that'd be a really good story, I could relate it to something else. I'll write it in a Google Doc. Or if there's a cool picture of, say for instance, when me and my wife went to New Orleans, we we were able to um, go on this airboat and we saw a lot of alligators. And uh, that, that's a cool picture that I could save and add to like a story bank. And you, you like to have these story banks so that you're able to provide them as content or value posts or just a really cool lifestyle posts. So, um, that is my VL5 method, and you definitely can use it to create content, to build rapport with people, and uh, I really like to create my stories, like we'll go in and uh, a later posts about pretty much what I do, um, and it, this you'll see more of the difference between like a Facebook post and a uh, group post and how we provide value with a call to action more on our feed because that's more of our home versus in groups. It tends to be just value forward, no call to action because uh, people in groups tend to not like call to actions. They don't want to have you take their members away, which is kind of funny, but that's uh, on a whole different subject. But definitely check out examples in our later uh, meth in our later chapters, so that you can really uh, see how I structure my posts and see how I do those.